That's maple syrup from Quebec being poured onto snow. You let it cool for a minute and then roll it up on a stick. And as these nursing students from the University of Alberta Campus St. Jean discovered, it's delicious. <laughs> It's early March, and the celebration called La Cabane à Sucre, or in English, Sugar Shack, is being held in the French community of Plamondon, located two and a half hours north of Edmonton. Nineteen bilingual students are here to learn about the rural lifestyle as part of an RPAP-sponsored Skills Weekend. Wow, guys! It's a beautiful community, and because we're in the bilingual program, it's great to be able to utilize our French and kind of see that Francophone culture. While in Plamondon, the students pay a visit to Tree de la Vie Midwifery. They're usually on the side, and then they rotate, and they come face down. Marianne King and Chantal gauthier Valencourt tell the students that combined they perform 50 to 60 births per year. 90% of those are water births, half done in the home, half in hospital. The day before in Lac La Biche, the students visit the local air ambulance hangar. The local crew shows them how quickly they can transport a patient from ambulance to airplane. And it's doing about 75 patient transfer flights a month. Physicians, uh, there's only one per hospital often on call, uh, so we can kind of help those physicians uh, get their patients to a higher level of care in Edmonton or Calgary quickly and professionally. Here the students are touring the William J. Cadzo Lacklebish Healthcare Centre. This rural hospital features a new CT scan suite and a new dialysis unit. Haley Chichonik is a licensed practical nurse in emergency. I like our hospital because I like how everything is just like a close-knit family. Wrap the string away from you. At Portage College across the street from the hospital, Haley teaches suturing to the students. Jana McKinley, an instructor with the community social work program at the college, gave an hour-long presentation on mental health. Okay. There you go. Other skill stations included interosseous injection and advanced airway management. For the first time ever at a skills event, students stayed in cabins. The cabins are located in Sir Winston Churchill Provincial Park, next to Lac La Biche Lake. That's also where the students were the guests of a community dinner that included local musicians and dignitaries. This has been a great honor for us to have you here. It was a busy weekend of taking in all that Lac La Biche offers. Dining at the Fat Unicorn Brewery, watching the Junior B Lac La Biche Clippers win their playoff series against Cold Lake at the very impressive Bold Center, a recreational complex that's easily on par with those in urban centers. They caught a glimpse of a massive pond hockey tournament on Lac La Biche Lake and toured the Lac La Biche Mission. This Roman Catholic mission was established in 1853 and is a national historic site. Throughout the weekend, locals shared why they love working and living in the Lac La Biche region. Two minute walk to the lake, paddleboard is blown up all summer long. My dogs uh, walk themselves to the lake. It was an action-packed weekend. Will rural practice in Lac La Biche be part of these students' future? I was always interested in rural, but coming and seeing this this weekend has definitely solidified that for me. It's a really wonderful community feel and I definitely want to come back. I would definitely do so as well mm -hmm. because I'd be answering for a need that's that's mm -hmm. all, that's been existing for you know for forever really yeah. and a lot of people overlook that opportunity. 